Hey everyone, in today's video, I'll walk you through how to use ComfyUI Wave Speed to speed up image generation with Flux and SDXL by two to three times, and also run the Hunyuan video model much faster. I'll leave a link in the description where you can download this workflow. Wave Speed is an optimization tool for ComfyUI that improves inference speed by reducing redundant computations. It's designed to make AI image generation faster, especially for users with limited GPU power. It's still fairly new and the author is actively improving it, but even now it's quite effective for generating images much faster. If you're looking for a way to speed up your workflow, this is definitely worth trying. Flux models are powerful, but they require a decent GPU to run efficiently. If you're using an older card or generating large images, the process can be very slow. Generating images with Flux takes time, especially if you're running multiple generations, testing prompts, or just looking for faster results. WaveSpeed helps by optimizing how the model processes information and it significantly reduces wait times and improves overall performance. Let's start by installing WaveSpeed and setting up the necessary dependencies. Installing WaveSpeed is pretty simple. First, navigate to the ComfyUI slash custom notes folder, right click and open it in the terminal, then type git clone and you just need to copy this repository URL. Now just wait for Git to clone the repository into the custom notes folder. For the workflow itself, you can download the wave speed for Flux from the GitHub repository. Before running the workflow, we need to install Triton. While Triton isn't required for Flux and SDXL, some users have encountered issues without it, so I'll guide you through the installation process. There are different versions of Triton depending on which Python version you're using for your comfy UI. The best way to check your Python version is to open ComfyUI through Run NVIDIA GPU, go to the terminal, and scroll to the top. There you'll find the Python version being used. For example, I'm using Python 3.11.9, so I'll need to install the Triton package for the corresponding version. If you're using, for example, Python 3.12.7, you'll need to install a different version, which I'll provide in the video description. For these wheel files, you'll need to put them in the Comfy UI Windows Portable slash update folder. Now we want to go to the update folder, right click and open in terminal and type this command. We have one more step to ensure Triton is installed properly. For these files, you need to install the correct version corresponding to your Python version. After downloading the zip file, you have to unzip it and place the include and libs folder in the ComfyUI Windows portable slash Python embedded folder. If you also plan to use the Hanyuan workflow, you need to install the Sage Attention package. I made a separate video on setting up Hanyuan for your local machine so you can follow the instruction there. I'll leave the link to that video in the description. When you open up the Flux Wave Speed workflow, you'll see two key nodes. It's apply first block cache and compile model plus. Let's go over what these nodes actually do. Wave Speed primarily speeds up inference using a method called dynamic caching and which is also called first block cache. Normally when we generate an image without wave speed, the model processes input through multiple transformer blocks in every step. Instead of recalculating the first block's output every step, wave speed basically caches the output from the first time it runs. And if the next step has only minor differences from the previous one, it reuses the cached value instead of recomputing everything. The difference that determines whether to cache or recompute is called the residual difference threshold. If the residual difference is below a certain threshold, the model reuses the cached output instead of recomputing. So this means if we set the value too high for the residual threshold in the node, we're going to be using the cached values very frequently. And if the value is very low, we're going to be recomputing at every step. Now let's run the wave speed workflow and compare the results and speed. First, I'll run the flux def model without the wave speed custom node to see how long it takes. As you can see, it took around 30 seconds for a full generation. You can ignore the first prompt above since that time includes loading all the models. Next, I'll run the flux def model with a residual threshold of 0.12. 
This means that if the difference in output for the transformer block is less than 0.12, we use the cache value instead of recalculating and essentially uh, skipping a step. Here's the result. Uh, the image is slightly different from the original model, but still retains good quality. The generation time was reduced to 18 seconds, which is a solid improvement from 30 seconds. Now I'll increase the residual difference to 0.15, you can see that the image starts to look a little bit different from the original and the quality starts to drop. This happens because we're skipping too many steps and relying on cached values rather than following the model's original uh, computation. The effect is even more noticeable at 0.2 where the speed improves but at the cost of image quality. As you increase the threshold, you get faster generation times but at the expense of quality. You can experiment with this value based on your needs. Personally, I find that a range between 0.12 and 0.15 gives the best result, which is also recommended in the original repository. I also tested the wave speed workflow with the Hanyuan video model using a residual difference of 0.1 and a shift value of 7. The generation speed was twice as fast, but the video quality wasn't ideal. Compared to the original, the wave speed version showed a noticeable drop in quality, so I don't think I'll be using wave speed much with the Hanyuan video model. I hope you found this video helpful in introducing wave speed to your workflow for faster generation times. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button and subscribe for more AI content. Thanks for watching.